What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness and in today's video I want to touch on the Quan Kicker and Master Wong. Okay, so before I get started, take a second to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, click on the notification button, it helps me to grow and I appreciate it a lot. So, let's start with Quan Kicker. Uh, I wanted, I'm making this video about uh, Quan Kicker. And, and Master Wong. So I'm gonna start off with uh, the Quan Kicker, and I like to thank him for for sharing one of my videos. Uh, it helped me out a lot. Uh, I got a lot more subscribers, so I really appreciated that. And beyond that, also, um, what it is is that I'm new to YouTube, and I started watching his videos at one point. And one of the things he said in his videos actually uh, saved me, I think, from going down the wrong path. Because a lot of times when you're new on YouTube, well, a lot of times, I'm just talking about myself, and I'm guessing I'm probably not the only one who, who fought this way. Like, how do you get views? How do you get people to sub, right? So then you, you go into like controversy. You try to make videos that people want to see. And I kind of fell victim to that a little bit, but I wasn't, uh, so I made some videos criticizing uh, Master Wong, and then I made a video criticizing uh, Dan Locke, he's actually not a martial arts guy, he's a, he's a, he's a business finance guy, but he, he started making videos on uh, Wing Chun and stuff like that. Anyways, so when I saw that video from um, Quan Kicker, I realized that I was going down the wrong path and my approach wasn't uh, what it was supposed to be. So, you know, of course, I, I put in a comment there uh, under his video, thanked him for it. I said, oh, you know, and I, I took his advice to heart. I'm like, you know what, it's not the way to go. And um, calling out people like that, I mean, it, it could get you banned for one. Uh, and there, there's a lot of examples of that. But at the same time, I mean, it's, it's, it's spreading negativity, uh, you know, out on, the, out on YouTube, out on the internet. And I think there's enough negativity in the world already. So we don't need to, to have more of that, you know. And I think that the way he was talking about it was, okay, you know, it's better to make friends than to make enemies, you know. Because making enemies, well, at one point, it, it catches up to you, you know. Uh, whereas if you make friends, you know, uh, maybe it'll take a little bit more time and, and whatnot, but it's a much better approach. And when I thought about that, it's much more in line with my own values at this moment as a martial artist, as a judo guy, uh, and, and so on. So he saved me from going down the wrong path. And then on top of that, he actually like comment on a couple of my videos and stuff like that. And then he actually shared one of my videos, which helped me out tremendously. So I'm very grateful for that. And uh, I got uh, I got more subscribers in like a few hours than I did for the past two, three months that I started approximately. So listen, Quan Kicker, thank you very much, bro. I appreciate it. If there's anything that, uh, uh, that I could do for you in the future, uh, you know, let me know. I'll, uh, I'll do what I can. Uh, my channel is uh, still, uh, very small. I'm at the beginning stages, but I do have ambitions to to uh, you know to get bigger and to continue pumping out good content, spreading very good ideas, uh, advanced, evolved ideas, old ideas, new ones, whatever uh, about fitness and martial arts. And when I think about it, I actually I look at Shane Faison and I'm like, man, that guy's doing some fun shit. You know, he's like like uh, you know he's he's training MMA people now. Uh, you know, he's He's big, you know, and he's doing, I think he's doing this full time from my understanding. So that would eventually be one of my goals too. I know I don't have a lot of videos of me showing technique and stuff like that in the gym. It's just that um, I haven't really gotten around to it, but eventually, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll improve and I'll evolve as I go along. So yeah, I'm really grateful for all the new, new subscribers that, that came from uh, Quan Kicker sharing my video and stuff like that. So, uh, hey, um, I'm blessed, you know? It's, it's what a way to start off a, a, uh, a channel, right? Actually getting some help. Like I was, I was getting, I think like two, three subs every, like one or two subs every couple of days and stuff like that. And I was looking at that and I was like, holy shit, this is gonna take me like fucking 10 years, man, before I even get to uh, like a thousand uh, subscribers. But I think through, when you, when you do good things, it comes back to you and when you do uh, bad things, it comes back to you too. So I was lucky that, you know, I, I fell on Quan Kicker's videos and he actually shared one of my videos. So yeah, thank you again and thank you all new guys. Welcome to my channel and uh, I'm gonna try and be myself, but I'll, 
I cuss a lot, guys, so sorry about that. Uh, but it, it, it's who I am, you know? Like, if you were to meet me in real life, it's this is exactly the way I talk. Like, I could keep it PG-13, and what I'll do, though, is I'll, I'll, I'll uh, you know, I won't be criticizing guys in a harsh way, personally attacking anybody, because, you know, it's the wrong way. And so, okay, on to Master Wong. I want to give Master Wong some love, some credit, okay? Because I did criticize him a bit. I was kind of making fun of him. But me and Master Wong actually have a lot in common. Um, well, for one, you know, he's on YouTube. He's much bigger than me, of course. But he's a martial arts guy. And I'm a martial arts guy. So already, that's, that's something that we have a lot in common. Second, for, you, for those of you guys who don't know, I'm actually of Vietnamese and Chinese descent. Okay, so my last name is Nguyen. Nguyen is like, you don't get more Vietnamese than that. And Master Wong is Vietnamese from what I gather. I, I remember him saying that, if I'm not mistaken, in one of his videos. And uh, I could tell with his accent because that's like a Vietnamese accent that Vietnamese people have when, they, when it's, uh, Vietnamese is their first language and English isn't, and then they, they, uh, they learn English. That's exactly the way it, it talks. So it's actually very familiar to me. And um, here's the thing, I believe that Master Wong is a, is a martial artist and like his, he knows, you know, he knows what he knows and the stuff that he shows, it could work. It all depends on context, you know, because in a, in a fight, in a street fight or in a self-defense situation, there's so many variables and there's, you know, you don't know uh, the person in front of you, what's his background, what's he capable of, what he's not capable of, uh, if he's good, if he's this, if he's that. So like, you know, to say that uh, what he shows is incorrect, it might be incorrect depending on the situation, depending on the person in front of him, like a whole bunch of variables. So that's why, uh, you know, I think the more videos that you watch and this and that, I mean, you have to... You have to frame it, you know? It depends on what context, who's the guy in front of you, what's the situation, and certain things will, will work in different, con like in different situations, and sometimes that same technique won't work in a, another situation, okay? So that's, uh, that's my opinion on it, so I just wanted to uh, uh, thank Pawn Kicker and show uh, Master Wong some love, so, you know, I mean, hey, he's Vietnamese. He has that funny accent that I that I that I grew up with. You know, my family's like that. My mom and my dad, when they speak English, it, it sounds exactly like that. So, and he's big. And you know what? You know what? I, what I realized, he's a very emotional guy. And so, for for him to react the way he did, uh, you know, to to Ramsey Dewey's video there, you know, where he's just like going crazy and shit, that means he's very emotional. So he takes things very personally. You know. And then when you look at that, and then you look at like how he, um, he acts in his videos, you realize this might not be acting. I think this is the way he really is. He's a really intense guy and he has, you know, some uh, violence in him, right? <laughs> and he's very expressive about it and stuff like that. So it's not an act. So what I said when I, when I said that he was, he might, he might be exaggerating like uh, a little bit for, for the video so that, you know, it's more entertaining and stuff like that. But I think essentially, he is that way. He is that way. And that's why he reacted that way to, to that video. You know, he got pissed and shit, right? Um, so I'm actually a very emotional guy too. And uh, I guess maybe you guys could tell sometimes the way I talk. I cuss a lot. I laugh a lot. And, you know, whatever. I, I've, I've had issues in the past with uh, you know, controlling my temper, especially when I was younger. And now I'm getting older, so I don't know, maybe it's uh, wisdom, maybe it's just uh, my testosterone's, uh, testosterone levels going down. I don't know. We'll see. I'll have to, you know, wait until my next year annual checkup with my doctor to see what's up. But the thing is, here in Canada, okay, in, in, actually, I'm actually in Quebec, Montreal. Montreal is like the city not too far from Toronto. Anyways. It's funny because you can't just ask your doctor, like, you, like I asked her, hey, can I test for testosterone? And she's like, no, I, uh, well, is there anything wrong? Tell me the symptoms. <sighs> okay, and you know, I, I'm not the type of guy who lies and I, I suck at lying. So, you know, it's, it's like she won't test it unless I tell her I can't get a hard on like in the morning or something like that. Or, you know, I can't perform 
uh, in that area. So anyways, I digress. All that to say that I can't test my testosterone unless I go private and pay. At this point, well, it's, uh, it's, not, uh, it's, not, uh, um, it's not a priority yet. I don't have the money to go be doing all these kind of tests, but when I will, I'll do it for sure. And I'll share with you guys like my, uh, uh, my journey uh, in, in all of this. So that's it for this video. I don't want to make this too long. So thanks a lot, Quan Kicker. I love you, bro. And if I could do, let me know. And uh, welcome to all the new sub subscribers. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll keep it real. I'll be me. And um, hopefully you guys will stick around and uh, we can uh, evolve and share and grow together. Okay? So that's it, guys. Thanks a lot. And uh, hey, Master Wong, if you're listening, I don't think you are, but I love you, bro. Vietnamese, you know? Anyways. Peace.